I know what you want. You want to learn 3D character animation, don't you? You want to learn how to animate characters, how to make them move, maybe even how to make them talk. But what happens? You open up a 3D program and you end up staring at the screen for 10 minutes, or maybe you end up trying to create a 3D character animation, but you're not sure what to do, so you end up clicking everywhere, and then you click the top right X to close the program. Can you relate to that? Absolutely. And you know what? It's called 3D-itis. It's a disease that unfortunately a lot of beginners have and even intermediate and sometimes advanced users have. But there is a cure to this 3D-itis and you know what it is? It's a course. A course much like this one that takes you step by step by step by step through the process of 3D character animation. In this course, there's about 30 hours of content, over 150 videos, and through this course, we will be making several different characters. We will learn how to make them, how to rig them or add bones to them so that we can then animate them. We will learn how to texture them or add materials. And of course, how to animate them and even make them talk. So this course is absolutely packed. It's an amazing adventure and I know you're gonna love it. Now, who am I? Well, I'm just the French guy. No, I'm kidding. My name is Alex Cordobard, and for the last nine years, I've been doing and teaching 3D arts and animation in what's known as Blender, which is a free 3D program. I have several bestsellers here on Udemy with over 20,000 students, and I absolutely love to teach 3D arts and animation, and I know you're going to have a blast doing this course. This course is packed with 3D character animation madness. It goes from A to Z of 3D character animation and it's good for beginners, intermediate users, or advanced users. Our first character is going to be a little cube boy that we're going to animate and we're going to learn some of the basics of animation, squashing and stretching, and just having a lot of fun. Our second animation will be this little caterpillar here and we're going to learn all about animating along curves, particle systems, adding textures and materials, and a lot more. It's really fun and it's going to be a cool animation. The third animation we're going to do is an animation with some mannequins. And this is really where we get into the animation using armatures, rigs, and textures, and doing a lot of modeling as well. We're going to be modeling and animating a whole scene. So this animation is pretty in depth and it's going to be a really cool little film that we create by the end that you could be proud of. As you can see, we're going to create some rigs for two different characters and like I said, create a pretty full blown out animation. Along the way, we're going to learn all about walk cycles. We're going to learn how to switch uh, different objects between characters. We're going to learn about depth of field, as you can see right here, to add a really cool effect to the camera. And by the end of it, we'll add in some sounds, add in some music to our animation, and create a full-blown animation with these mannequins here that is really cool and that you could share with friends and family and show off. Heck yes, that's what 3D is about. <laughs> and then after that, we're going to go into a, a human character. So taking what we learned in the previous lessons, we're going to amp it up and create a human, create a full rig for the human, texture him, animate him. As you can see here, we got a finger rig that's really cool that with controllers that we could animate his fingers with. And then we're going to go ahead and create a full rig for this character creating a foot rig that can animate his feet very easily with just a couple of control bones and doing all of this within Blender. Then we're going to see how we can add materials for the eyes using the node editor and the shader editor. And of course, then creating a cool little animation with this character and seeing some other animation techniques and whatnot that we could use in our scene. As you can see right here, we have a fully customizable rig with uh, positions for the elbows and for the hands that we can fully control. And also we're going to create a fully controllable face rig to animate his face and facial expressions as you can see right here. Then we're going to be using checking things out like the dope sheet and graph editor. Yes, it sounds confusing, but don't get overwhelmed. We will cover all this in the course. The final animation, as I said, is the alien. So we're going to model the alien, we're going to texture it, add in some cool skin textures that we can manipulate, again, in the shader editor, change it to whatever color we want. We're also going to go ahead and with the skin color, we're going to create the eye material as well, create different color eyes if we want, 
And again, this is a really cool eye material that we could change and manipulate the different colors. And by the end of it, we'll actually animate this character or this alien talking and create different facial rigs for our characters so that we could create a cool little lip sync animation. So by the end of this course, you'll have not only created and animated five different characters, but learned a whole lot throughout. There's just way too much that you're going to learn in this course to be able to fit it all into one tiny promo video. But like I said, this course is great for any user. If you don't know anything about Blender or 3D Arts, this is a great course for you. If you're intermediate or advanced and you know about Blender, this is a great course as well. And you're going to have a blast doing it. So with that, click the button, get the course, and I look forward to seeing you in there. Ciao for now. Au revoir.